It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I make my cheesecake stuffed strawberries. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. So here are my already clean strawberries. Now what I clean my strawberries with is this product right here, Veggie Wash. You can spray, rinse your strawberries completely dry and then dry them completely. Then my Merkins chocolate, my golden Oreos and some strawberry gelatin along with some more ingredients that I'm going to have listed in the description box below. So check out the full recipe under this video so let's get started in a medium bowl you want to add in your cream cheese your powdered sugar now i'm using a french vanilla jello pudding then i'm adding in some a little bit of sour cream and then i'm adding in my flavor now you want to take your mixer and mix this completely until it's well combined now I'm using French vanilla because that's the only thing I had in the cabinet. Now you can use the cream cheese um, box pudding, which would be fine, but I chose to do the French vanilla. So once this is completely mixed, you want to use your spatula, make sure it has came together, and then we're going to move on to our next step. Now you're going to get your piping bag and I'm using a uh, 1M tip here. And you're just going to place it in your piping bag and then cut off the end so that the tip can come through but still have a snug fit. Now taking a tall glass cup, I'm placing in my piping bag and then pour in or apply my filling. Now, once you have that completed, you just want to sit this to the side and then begin to dip your strawberries. Now here I'm using a full row and a half of the golden Oreos. Now this is one way that you can make your strawberry crumble. So here I'm adding in the Oreos and then I'm going to blend them, break them down with the whole cookie together. And you're just gonna bring it down to a nice fine crumble. Now they don't have to be this fine, but I like them this way. Now once you do that, apply your strawberry gelatin to the mix and blend that up together until it's well combined. Now I'm going to add in a half stick of softened butter, which is unsalted. And you want to mix that until all the butter has incorporated and the color has come in. Now this is why a brand product is important because I use the off-brand Jello gelatin. So it's not as bright as it normally would be. So what I'm gonna add in is some um, red food coloring, which is a red rose. And you just apply it to the crumble while the butter is in there and it's nice and moist and just mix it all together until your color comes in. And as you see here, here's my color, and I'm good with that. Now you're gonna take the other Oreos, and you're gonna blend them down, and this is going to be the golden part of your strawberry crumble. Now once that's complete, you just remove it and I'm going to add this to the bowl and I'm going to combine both so that I can get a nice mixture of them both. But I more so want the P 
pink to show more. So I'm just going to add more of the pink crumble to the golden crumble. And then I'm going to mix this until my desired look has come complete. And then I'll be ready to use for dipping my strawberries. Now, once you have made this, you can just set it to the side and then start to work on your next process, which would be the strawberries. So you want to prep your strawberries ahead of time, put the sticks in them, place them on a baking sheet or a tray, whatever you like, but you want to prep them before you dip. Now let's melt our chocolate, our chocolate candy melts. I'm using Merkins. This is a two cup measure and I'm adding two tablespoons of Paramount Crystals and I melted the candy melts for 30 second intervals. I did two rounds of the 30 second intervals and you want to melt till it's nice and smooth and then you're ready to dip. Now you want to gather everything, bring it together. You want to mix up that crumble a little bit before you dip and once you dip drain or make sure all the extra chocolate has drained back into your cup and then you dip into your crumble i'm getting tongue tied y'all but hey i'm here to give you life so here we go so make sure you do not have any excess um chocolate because it will drip back into that crumble and you don't want that so make sure you drain off enough before you apply it to the crumble now as i'm dipping my strawberry i'm leaving part of the top um uncoated because that's the part i'm going to cut off so you don't have to cover or dip the whole strawberry, just leave part of the top off because that's gonna be the section you're going to cut off. So I'm gonna share a helpful tip for those that dip strawberries into the crumble. So when you dip and you drain off the excess um, candy melts or chocolate and you dip into your crumble and it looks like your crumble or chocolate or candy melts have shifted, you can pat your strawberry in place and get them into the right fit or right shape so that it can look nice and neat. So don't be afraid. So as you see here, I'm just patting and putting it back in place because it looked like it has shifted. Now that's a helpful tip for you guys so that all your strawberries can look um, neat and uniform. Now I'm just dipping some regular white strawberries and this is just going to be part of the decoration box and they are all set ready to be filled all right moving right along so here i'm going to be using some paper towel uh paring knife and i'm going to be using a palette knife so as you see here i'm using the paper towel to hold the strawberry and then taking your um, paring knife and just cut off the top that's not covered and then I'm going to do like a cross in between the strawberry and then a circle around the cross and then I'm going to take my palette knife and dig out what I cut so then I will have my hole to fill my cream cheese now this is just a simple way um, that I like to do nice technique works fine and strawberries are still intact and we can go ahead and fill with our filling now to keep your filling um, placed if you want to add more you can add more I normally put them in a cupcake liner and then add a little bit more onto on top of the strawberry but just simple once again using the knife making a cross and cutting around the cross and then digging out with the palette knife is just so much easier to do and also the paper towel just keeps your hand 
from messing up the strawberries. So great technique. Hope you guys will enjoy this technique because it's just simple and an easy way to do. So if you end up cutting off some of the chocolate, not too much, don't worry about it. Fill it up with some cream cheese and you'll be fine. But this is why you dip only enough to the top so that some of that can be left out. Some of the strawberry can be left out for you to cut. So here is a packaging box that I use. Like I said, I will leave all links, the recipe and all the supplies in the description box below this video. But as I place my strawberries in the cupcake liners, I'm gonna come back and then apply some more filling just to fill it up to give them a little bit more to <laughs> eat and enjoy. All right, so as I place them, line them up, again, I am actually inserting them and pulling back, because some of these strawberries are huge. So I'm pulling back the center line of the strawberries and then applying the last row. All right, and then I'm gonna go back over with the cream cheese. And that is our cheesecake, all done and completed. So simple. So I'm going back all over the strawberries, adding and applying some um, crumble just to add a little touch. And there is our strawberries all done. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for some more great videos and be on the lookout for more.